Hey, hello there. So today I'm talking about the two hemming distance questions. One is 461 hemming distance, uh, which is uh, pretty much a straight up uh, uh, implementation about the hemming distance calculation between two integers. The other one is uh, 477 total hemming distance. We have uh, a bunch of numbers and we want to do the uh, pairwise hemming distance calculation and add all those pairwise distance up. So, uh, so that's uh, uh, the second question. So let's talk about the first question. The hemi distance is basically the number of uh, positions at which uh, the corresponding corresponding bits uh, from these two numbers are different. So let's take an example. Let's look at the number six and five, uh, which is uh, a four and a two. So it's a zero one one zero. F uh, number five, it's going to be a four and a one. So it's a zero one zero one. Um, so for the if we check this two numbers position by position, we work from either leftmost or rightmost. The rightmost is easier. Uh, we can see that uh, the bits are different. It's a one and zero, so there is one difference there. When we move left towards uh, move towards left, we find another difference, and this is no different. And the very the leftmost bit are also not not different. Uh, so. Yeah, so basically we can just have a um, you know for loop from the rightmost bit to the leftmost bit and uh, position uh, and do the bit uh, position by position uh, bit difference checking and add all those differences up. So this is distance equal equal to two. The the runtime for this is going to be log two to the uh, log two to the Uh, maximum of uh, x and y. So uh, log 2 to the maximum of x and y is going to be the total number of bits for the uh, larger integer in between these two numbers. So that's the time. And um, uh, it, it will be a fine algorithm because it's pretty much just uh, uh, compare it's pretty much doing the minimum amount of work, but um, I, I don't particularly like it this is that um, I might need some mental power to in the second time when I read my code to understand what, what I'm actually doing. So uh, I prefer something that's uh, more like a literal translation of the definition into code. So what we're doing here is to basically we get the difference and then we count the number of bits in this difference. Uh, you know, that's that's what basically this English language here, English sentence is saying. So instead of uh, doing this position by position checking, um, uh, we can just do take the difference and count the bits in the difference. Uh, if we do uh, the exclusive all operation, will give us the difference six and five. When we do the exclusive all, it's going to be zero zero one one. And then we just apply the uh, count the number of one bits in this uh, difference and. Um, it's, it's the time complexity, uh, but it will be uh, a little bit easier to read next time, I guess. Uh, so let's code this, uh, this version up. The difference is going to be the exclusive all between x and y, and we also initialize a variable to uh, count the number of bits, which is going to be the distance. And uh, the way we do the bit counting, oh, one of the ways is to uh, clear the last bit. The number of times we need to clear the last bit to uh, make the number uh, into zero is going to be the total number of bits in this number. So while this difference is not uh, zero yet, what we do is to clear the very last bit. We can do that by doing an end operation. Sorry, end operation with uh, uh, diff subtracted by one. So diff subtract one, one will turn the very last bit to be zero and part a bunch of one towards right. When we do the end operation, uh, it's basically destroy the original last one bit. And we can increment this distance by, by one. And in the end, after, the, after we count the number of bits, the number of bits in the difference is basically the uh, hemi distance. So that's the code for, for this. And I and I like it um, better than the position by position difference checking. As uh, um, I think it's a little bit easier to uh, understand the next time you read it. So let's talk about this uh, second question: four hundred seventy-seven total hemi distance. 
uh, you might be attempting to uh, apply this uh, onto this question. Let's look at this. This is the hemi distance definition, and then uh, we need to find the total hemi distance uh, between all pairs of uh, numbers for this given a bunch of number. Uh, so if we apply this hemi distance function to uh, all the pairs of the numbers, then you will be a squared algorithm and uh, a squared time algorithm, and it will be. Uh, not very really idea because if we align, uh, let's align a couple of numbers here. Um, so let's say we have uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, uh, something like uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, something uh, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and uh, just put some other number that's different here. So let's look at that we have four number, uh, which is uh, 4, 5, Three and two. Uh, you know what? I'm, let's actually sort it. Hmm. So if we do pairwise comparison, the two and three, uh, we got a one bit difference. The two and four, we got a two bit difference. The two and five, we got a three bit difference. Um, but 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 what's essentially useful is the for every bit. Uh, we can count the number of one bit and the number of uh, zero bit, and just um, because we're looking at pairwise, uh, we can just multiply the number of one bits and the number of uh, zero bits for for any given position, and add all those up. We should be equivalent to do uh, pairwise and number by number pairwise uh, calculation and add all those up. Um, so, so let's look at the very last bit. We got two one bit, two zero bit. So just based on this position alone, the very last position alone, we will be able to generate a four difference, which is uh, two multiplied by, by two. And for the uh, second to the right uh, bit, it's uh, equivalent. It's the same case. It's going to be four, four total difference, which is uh, two. Uh, we got two one bits and two zero bits. Uh, I guess this example is uh, not very nice because, uh, um, yeah, let's add one, mo one more number, I guess, 0, 1, 1, 0. So now we got uh, three, uh, two 1 bits and three 0 bits in the very last position. So the total is going to be 6, just from that position alone. And uh, the second uh, to the right is going to be the same situation, 2 multiplied by 3. Oh. I end up with all these three last three positions are two multiplied by three. I was thinking um, maybe I should have something that's uh, yeah. Let's put this to be one. Hmm. So this number is now uh, ten. Uh, you know, so the uh, rightmost three bits are. Uh, uh, three position is gonna uh, all gonna be generating six difference. So it's uh, three multiplied by six is eighteen. But the leftmost bit is gonna be one multiplied by four. Uh, so the strategy, uh, um, you know, more efficient way of solving this is not really applying this Hamming distance function uh, to all the pairs, but rather than Rather, uh, looking at all these numbers bit by uh, position by position, count the number of one bits and count the number of zero bits, uh, and do a multiplication, and then move to the next position. So that's going to be a lot faster. So let's say the the total number of bits in this uh, integer. What's the uh, range? It's ten to the nines. So it's a uh, one. Uh, it's a it's billion. One billion. One billion is. Uh, uh, 2 to the 31 is uh, 2 billion, 2, 2 point some billion. So uh, we, we're still looking at uh, uh, a 30, 32 bit integer. So uh, it's going to be 32 multiplied by n. So time to calculate is going to be 32 order of uh, 32 multiplied by n, uh, where n is the number of uh, integers in this uh, in this question. And um, uh, that, so, so that's going to be the time complexity if we do position by position, uh, bit counting and uh, uh, add those uh, um, add, add those up. So this is going to be this. 
and the space uh, it's a constant so let's do this uh, we one, one thing that we can uh, do is to only count the number of uh, one bits for every position because the number of zero bits is going to be um, the total number uh, uh, subtracted the number of one bits so we grab the uh, we don't need to uh, let's just call this uh, total distance we initially it's zero and we're gonna do position by position So the uh, for each iteration, we are looking at uh, the number of bits at the, the uh, i's position from the right. Uh, we get some count which is uh, zero. Uh, just call it once, and uh, for each number, what we're gonna do is to. Uh, check uh, the bit at the i's location from the right for this in this number and uh, if it's a one we can increment this uh, which is uh, equivalent to shift the number towards right by this i and do an end, end operator with uh, the one bit so it's uh, shifting this number towards right by i and do an end with one just to check the, whether the i's position at this number is is in fact a one. If it's a one, we increment uh, this uh, variable here. So after the for loop, we basically collected all the one, uh, number of one bits for this i's position from the right. Um, and what we need to do is to uh, multiply that uh, number of ones by the number of uh, zeros and add the uh, product to the total distance which is uh, uh, size subtracted by ones. And in the end, we should return this total. So that's, uh, that's the uh, position by position bit counting uh, solution. It's gonna be much faster compared to uh, if, we, if we were to do the n squared uh, pairwise uh, uh, hammer distance calculation. So let's try this, I think it will work. Uh, okay, so not particularly fast, <laughs> but uh, you know, based on the analysis, you know, it's uh, it's pretty much uh, linear in time, and uh, and and this uh, this implementation is also uh, constant in, constant in space. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, the two hemi distance questions. Cool.